and welcome back to Hadoop exam learning resources in the Databricks Spark developer certification Spark 2.x question video series so this time I will be considering next question from question paper 2 that is again programming questions so this is question number 13 okay so you have been given a file named spark 8 data.csv this has two column type and name so you can assume type as in um, anything it could be text as well as integer but I uh, think you should uh, better assume as a integer okay type and name as a name okay so sample data which I have created here to uh, like explain you uh, th this is the sample data which I have created okay now uh, load this file from HDFS and save it back as ID give the first column name is ID so this type would become ID all names of same type okay so same type here so name with the same type correct so you have to assume the data is like this Lukesh, Amit, Bupesh kind of thing and it's type kind of thing okay uh, in the next uh, correction what I will do I put the sample data as well here so you can refer this video as of now but um, I can put sample data as well so it would easy to understand the question what they are going to ask actually so in the result directly however make sure while saving it should be able to write in a single file which of the following code snippet can solve this problem so when you write the output it should be written as a single file okay so the best way of uh, storing the RDD as a single file is to repartition as one so here you can see in every options the same thing has been used here correct so this option is like applicable to all the four option in this question so there is nothing which can help us to se segregate which is not valid answer and which is uh, by the saving part so we need to understand the other part of the question load this file from HDF and save it back as ID and ID which actual ID so this is one two three this is the ID and all the names of same type in a single array we want it to be stored okay so what we want exactly here in the if I say in the question what we want exactly Oh, sorry like this is our data correct okay I cannot paste it seems to me Did it, uh, okay I cannot paste uh, text data here so let's see uh, okay this is the question and this is the data okay so what we want is exactly uh, uh, output in the format like this this is ID 1 this is ID 2 or something in the output we want all the with the same type like in this example is uh, Lukesh Pawan Tejas Lukesh Pawan Tejas and Kumar Venkat these are all same type correct that is needs to be and similarly this is another type 2 and save it into the HDFS file system okay or some any other file system that we want so but our data is not in this format the purpose here is we need to convert this data in this format so that we can save it okay so what you have to do this as a first step you have to load this data so this is just way we would be loading this data okay so let me just do this exercise here and you can see here name dot tick 10 so this is the data which have been loaded correct each line here this is each pair represent uh, one element here correct now we what we would be doing name dot map we know correct there are uh, two element in each line so what we are saying split by comma and first element would become your key okay and second element would become value okay so let's create a pair rdd out of this so you need to understand what is exactly the pair rdd okay so take 10 again so now you can see here this is paired okay this each line have been paired 
correct now what I'll be doing swapping the values between an I type okay reason I'm telling you I'll tell you just minute swap data so there is very simple way to swap it item and an item you can swap the pair RDD this each element in the pair RDD would be saved by using just calling the swap function on this uh, each element correct so here uh, swap dot tick 10 elements so you can see this now previously a uh, 1 comma locash was the value and now locash comma 1 value correct why we did it we wanted to use combine by key what is the combine by key function I'll uh, cannot tell you entirely in detail right now but you can refer over her to professional training over uh, sorry spark professional training here this is in that we have dip, uh, explained every uh, in core API of the RDD in detail so you can just go through this and to understand this thing okay so it is very difficult for me to explain you now in detail but I'll try to explain you okay so what we are doing here exactly this is this combined by key f uses the function uh, three things as an input first is a the things you want in the output that is your aggregate okay like in the collection which you want it to be as an output so we would be creating passing the empty list in this function okay so because I want this list as an output in the RDD okay so what we are doing in there are two type of combiner actually so let me little bit explain you it would be easier to understand when you you know the spark is clustered like this correct so now there is a data partition data this is pair RDD let's assume it on each node we do have a pair RDD correct this is a one partition of the pair RDD we already have on each node so first what we need to do locally combine this data first so it can parallelly work on each node correct so it would be faster correct and finally once you locally combine this send the result back to the driver and then its responsibility not driver or any node data need to be shuffled okay not driver in the one of the node they would be shuffled and then global combiner would be used global combiner means like combine all the result of this 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 and this then we need a another combiner so we need two combiner correct one for local to run on the local way and third one is a uh, second one is a uh, globally so here in our first combiner what we are doing here we are saying take the element of this is a pair RDD correct so it would be applying the function only with the same key okay so here in our data set we have locate as a key here uh, and uh, okay we have swapped the data okay there is no use of swap so just I've shown you the example actually I think how to swap it back that's the reason I was confused here so so there is no need to swap the data exactly but how you can swap this you can just do this okay but there we here you can see we are not using the swap value here so it might be to create the confusion in the question this option have been given okay so now in the option if you see the we are might be doing swapping correct so this swapping might be here to get confuse you okay so that's the reason it may be not correct option okay so now what we are doing here name pair RDD which we would be having the this this is an input correct this would be as an in input if it is the same key here so one this one okay this one this one this one and this one having the same key lo combine locally using this so create a uh, this combine the string with the like uh, to append a value in the list you have to use the double colon option correct so suppose you have two values and you want to uh, like you want to like this is the list correct 
this first element is a list and second element would be a string so what would we are doing here is if it is the same type of the value then we would be adding into the list okay which existing list and to add element in the scala in a list we would be using double colon correct so this is uh, like if you want to add any this is the list and if you want to add any element into this list you have to use this option and if you want to add to list append to list then you have to use this option this this three element this is two element these are exactly a functions in Scala okay these are not operator they are functions but the name of the function is this <laughs> that is shocking correct but that is the way Scala okay so now what we are doing here locally we have aggregated the value for on each node using this so we would be creating the list here on each node correct so list would be created here so here some list created for the same type the here another list is created here another list is created and finally we would apply the next combiner that is global combiner so we need to append the list of the same type correct in the next combiner so what we would be using here this two element here and we are combining this together and it would return the final list for each C key correct so final for each key and then to save this output combined by output repartition is because we want single file and save as a text so let's do this exercise here because I do have the sample data already created in uh, my system so this way you run it create the sw just swap to show you actually uh, it's a uh, nothing here so okay I've already shown previously but leave it now apply this code okay that is important for us and now combine output dot take sorry in here so you can see the result type 2 a list is created type 1 a list is created now to save this result you just call this function go here uh, into the this place see here this okay not here see result oh, sorry there must be a file result 13 okay and you can see here the single file have been created with the data in this correct you can see here okay so this way you would be saving the file so based on the explanation I can see this is option 4 is the matching option so this is the correct answer here correct what is the expected here and this is matching here okay so that's all about this session thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session thank you i'll stop now